scientists are still struggling to understand the behaviour of 3 Eye Atlas, an interstellar object that has puzzled astronomers since its discovery. Despite being farther from the Sun, it continues to glow green, an unexpected phenomenon considering the laws of physics. Normally, as a comet moves away from the Sun, its colour and brightness would fade due to reduced solar energy. But 3 Eye Atlas is showing the opposite, with its green glow intensifying. This raises a key question. Why is this happening? One possible explanation is thermal lag. After 3 Eye Atlas passed closest to the Sun, its surface was heated intensely, but the heat takes time to penetrate deeper into the object. Even as it moves farther from the Sun, the internal heat continues to affect the comet, causing deeper layers of ice to sublimate into gas. This release of gas might be creating the green glow observed in the latest images. However, there's a twist. To generate the green colour, carbon molecules must be present. Yet, when telescopes first observed 3 Eye Atlas, they found it almost entirely lacking in carbon. This left scientists baffled. But now, after passing closest to the Sun, carbon molecules are suddenly detectable, which raises another question. Where did the carbon come from? One theory is cosmic ray processing. Cosmic rays, high-speed particles from supernovae, bombard objects in interstellar space. These rays can break apart molecules and rearrange them into new compounds. This process could have altered the surface carbon on 3 Eye Atlas over billions of years. When the object passed close to the Sun, intense heat might have cracked open the outer layers, revealing fresh, carbon-rich material beneath. This explanation aligns with the observed data. The green glow is now visible, and carbon is detectable. The cosmic ray processing might explain the missing carbon from before, while the thermal lag helps explain why the green glow persists, even as the object moves away from the Sun. But there's more. Another puzzling feature of 3 Eye Atlas is its anti-tail, a tail that points toward the Sun, which has been observed for months. A theory suggests that 3 Eye Atlas might not be travelling alone. It could be surrounded by smaller fragments, broken off from the main body at some point. These fragments would not emit their own jets of gas, so they would be pulled by the Sun's gravity, gradually drifting toward the Sun while the main object is pushed slightly away by its own gas jets. Recent observations support this idea. A Hubble image released in December 2025 showed an anti-tail extension of about 60,000 kilometres. This matches the prediction of a scientist who calculated where fragments should be by November 30th, 2025, if they were ejected from 3 Eye Atlas back in late October. If these fragments do exist, they could account for the object's unusual brightness. More surface area would mean more ice could be turned into gas, creating a larger tail and making the object appear brighter than a single intact object would. This could also explain why 3 Eye Atlas seems to be losing more mass than should be possible for its size. Another perplexing aspect of 3 Eye Atlas is its carbon content. Carbon is a fundamental component of most comets, as it is present in the form of carbon monoxide and other molecules that contribute to the gas cloud surrounding the nucleus. However, when 3 Eye Atlas was first observed, astronomers found that it had almost no detectable carbon. This was a major puzzle, as it seemed to defy the common knowledge about the composition of comets. One possible explanation for this carbon deficiency is the intense bombardment of cosmic rays which could have altered the carbon molecules on the surface of 3 Eye Atlas. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that bombard objects in space, breaking apart molecules and rearranging them into different compounds. Over billions of years, the carbon in 3 Eye Atlas's outer layers may have been altered or destroyed by these rays. However, after 3 Eye Atlas passed closest to the Sun, carbon molecules were suddenly detectable in the gas cloud around the comet. This unexpected appearance of carbon raises the question, where did the carbon come from? This new discovery suggests that the intense heat from the Sun during perihelion may have caused the outer layers of the comet to crack open, revealing deeper, carbon-rich material that had been shielded from cosmic rays. As more data is collected and analysed, it will be interesting to see whether these theories hold up. For now, the mystery of 3 Eye Atlas continues, with new images and observations shedding more light on this interstellar traveller. The concept of thermal lag refers to the delayed reaction of an object to a change in temperature. When a comet like 3 Eye Atlas passes close to the Sun, its surface absorbs a significant amount of heat. However, this heat does not immediately penetrate deep into the object. 
It takes time for the heat to travel through the layers of the comet, and this process can extend for days, weeks, or even months. As 3i Atlas moves farther away from the Sun, the outer layers of the object may cool, but the internal heat continues to influence the behavior of the comet. The delayed heating could cause deeper layers of ice within the comet to sublimate into gas, releasing more gas into the surrounding coma and continuing to fuel the green glow. The process is akin to the way a steak continues to cook inside after being removed from the grill. Even though the exterior cools, the internal temperature remains elevated, affecting the comet's behavior long after it has moved away from the sun. Cosmic ray processing is a process by which high-energy particles from supernovae and other cosmic events bombard objects in space. These particles, which travel at nearly the speed of light, can break apart molecules and alter their chemical composition. In the case of 3i Atlas, cosmic rays likely bombarded the object for billions of years as it travelled through interstellar space, causing the carbon to be either destroyed or altered in a way that made it undetectable by telescopes. However, when 3i Atlas passed close to the Sun and experienced intense heat, the outer layers of the object may have cracked open, revealing the deeper layers that were shielded from cosmic rays. These deeper layers may have retained normal carbon chemistry, similar to the carbon found in other comets in our solar system. This process, combined with the thermal lag, provides a coherent explanation for the sudden appearance of carbon molecules in 3i Atlas after it passed perihelion. In addition to the green glow and carbon anomaly, 3i Atlas has also exhibited an anti-tail, which points toward the Sun. This is a rare and unusual feature in comets, as most comets have tails that are pushed away from the Sun by the solar wind. The anti-tail of 3i Atlas has been observed for months, raising questions about the object's behaviour. One hypothesis suggests that 3i Atlas might not be a single object at all, but rather a collection of smaller fragments that broke off from the main body at some point. These fragments would not emit their own gas jets, and would not be subject to the same forces that push the main object away from the Sun. Instead, these fragments would be pulled toward the Sun by gravity, gradually drifting closer to the Sun over time. This separation between the main object and the fragments could explain the presence of the anti-tail. Recent observations have provided evidence supporting the fragmentation hypothesis. A Hubble image taken in December 2025 showed an anti-tail extension of about 60,000 kilometers, which matches the predictions made by a scientist who had calculated the expected position of fragments from 3i Atlas. According to his calculations, if fragments had broken off from the comet on October 29th, they should have drifted about 60,000 kilometers closer to the Sun by November 30th. The fact that the Hubble image showed this extension provides some of the first visual evidence that the fragmentation hypothesis might be correct. If the fragmentation hypothesis is accurate, it could have significant implications for our understanding of cometary behavior. The presence of fragments would increase the total surface area of 3i Atlas, which would, in turn, increase the amount of gas released as the comet is heated by the sun. More gas means a larger tail and a brighter comet, which could explain why 3i Atlas appears brighter than expected for its size. When we observe a comet like 3i Atlas, one of the most striking features that captures our attention is its brightness. The brightness of a comet is directly influenced by the amount of gas and dust it releases as it interacts with the Sun. This release is primarily due to the sublimation of ice, which turns from a solid to a gas as the comet heats up. However, there's more to the story than just the basic principle of sublimation. The surface area of the object plays a crucial role in determining how much gas is released, and thus how bright the comet appears. In the case of 3i Atlas, the object is showing an unusual level of brightness for its size. This is particularly intriguing because based on its size and composition, scientists initially expected the comet to be much dimmer as it moved farther from the sun. Instead, it continued to shine brightly, which raised questions about its mass loss and its ability to maintain such an intense level of brightness. The importance of surface area to understand the relationship between surface area and brightness, it's necessary to consider the basic principles of cometary activity. A comet's nucleus, composed of ice, dust and other materials, is usually small compared to the tail and coma. The tail, which forms as the comet gets closer to the sun, is made up of gas and dust particles that are pushed away from the nucleus by solar wind and radiation pressure. The brighter a comet is, the more gas and dust it is releasing into space, which forms the glowing coma and tail. 
the rate at which a comet releases gas is proportional to its surface area. Larger surface areas provide more space for the ice to sublimate, releasing more gas and making the comet appear brighter. Smaller comets, on the other hand, have less surface area, leading to less gas being released and thus a dimmer appearance. This is why, when a comet passes close to the sun, it becomes much brighter. It exposes more of its surface to solar radiation, which increases the sublimation rate. For 3i Atlas, its size and the amount of gas being released seem disproportionate. It's brighter than expected, and this could be because of a larger surface area than initially believed. This hypothesis ties into the idea that 3i Atlas is not a single intact object, but possibly a fragmented one. The presence of smaller fragments, whether from the main nucleus or elsewhere, could dramatically increase the total surface area of the comet. This would explain the comet's unexpected brightness, and why it appears to be losing mass more rapidly than expected. Fragmentation and surface area If 3i Atlas is indeed surrounded by smaller fragments, as the fragmentation hypothesis suggests, the combined surface area of these fragments would be much larger than the surface area of the main nucleus alone. This increased surface area would mean that more ice could be exposed to solar radiation, leading to more sublimation and the production of more gas. In turn, this would make the object appear significantly brighter than if it were a single intact object. Fragments would also contribute to the overall size of the comet's tail. As the gas is emitted from both the main object and the fragments, it would be pushed away from the nucleus by solar radiation and wind. The more fragments there are, the larger the tail becomes, contributing to the overall brightness of the comet. This would explain why 3i Atlas has a larger and brighter tail compared to other comets of similar size. This increased tail size also has implications for the visibility of the object. Comets with larger tails are generally easier to spot, and their tails can be seen from much greater distances. As the tail of 3i Atlas grows in size, it becomes more visible to telescopes, which is why the object has been so prominent in recent observations. Mass loss and sublimation rate. Another aspect of brightness is mass loss. As a comet sublimates, it loses mass in the form of gas and dust. This loss of mass contributes to the overall activity of the comet, but it also means that the object is getting smaller over time. For most comets, this loss of mass slows down after the object moves away from the sun, as there is less solar energy to fuel the sublimation process. However, in the case of 3i Atlas, the comet appears to be losing mass at a rate that is higher than expected. The increased mass loss could also be linked to the presence of fragments. Smaller pieces that have broken off from the main nucleus would still be exposed to the sun's radiation and their surfaces would continue to sublimate, releasing gas into the coma. Since these fragments would contribute to the overall sublimation process, they would increase the rate of mass loss. This, in turn, would make 3i Atlas appear to be losing mass at an accelerated rate, contributing to its brightness and unusual behaviour. Brightness and the tail The tail of a comet is one of the most noticeable features when observing it from Earth. It forms as the gas and dust released by the nucleus are blown away by solar wind and radiation. The brightness of a comet is not just about how much gas it releases, but also how much dust is in the coma and tail. Dust particles reflect sunlight, which makes the tail visible from Earth. A larger tail with more gas and dust will make the comet brighter, and this is particularly evident in 3i Atlas. As 3i Atlas continues its journey through the solar system, its tail will likely grow in size. If the fragmentation theory is correct, the additional surface area provided by the fragments could contribute significantly to the tail's size. As the object moves farther from the sun, the sublimation rate should theoretically decrease, but the additional fragments may keep the tail large and bright for a longer period than expected. This would allow 3i Atlas to maintain its brightness even as it moves away from the sun, further perplexing scientists. The role of solar radiation and distance distance from the sun plays a crucial role in the behaviour of a comet. As the comet moves closer to the sun, it receives more solar energy, which heats its surface and causes more ice to sublimate. When the comet moves farther away, the amount of solar energy decreases and sublimation slows down. For most comets, this results in a decrease in brightness as they move away from the sun. However, 3i Atlas is behaving differently. Despite moving farther from the sun, the comet's green glow is intensifying. This could be due to the process of thermal lag, 
where the heat absorbed during perihelion continues to affect the interior of the object long after it moves away from the sun. As the interior heat continues to work its way through the comet, deeper layers of ice may continue to sublimate, releasing gas and creating the green glow. This process allows the comet to maintain its brightness despite its increasing distance from the sun. Additionally, if 3i Atlas has a larger surface area due to the presence of fragments, it would continue to produce more gas and dust as it moves farther from the sun. This would contribute to the brightness and size of the tail, even as the comet receives less solar energy. The increased surface area from the fragments could compensate for the decreased solar energy, allowing the comet to remain active and visible for a longer period than typical comets. Implications for future observations The unexpected brightness of 3i Atlas raises important questions about our understanding of comets and interstellar objects. If the comet's unusual behaviour is linked to fragmentation, it could mean that other interstellar objects may behave differently than expected. Scientists may need to revise their models of cometary activity to account for the possibility of fragments contributing to brightness and sublimation rates. As new data is gathered from upcoming observations, it will be interesting to see if 3i Atlas continues to defy expectations. Will its brightness continue to increase as it moves farther from the Sun, or will it eventually begin to fade as predicted by traditional cometary models? Scientists will be closely monitoring the comet's behaviour, as each new observation could provide valuable insights into the complex processes that govern the activity of interstellar objects. 3i Atlas is an extraordinary object, and its behaviour is unlike anything scientists have seen before. Its increased brightness, intense green glow, and unusual tail are just the beginning of the mystery. As we continue to study this interstellar traveller, we may uncover even more unexpected phenomena that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. In the meantime, 3i Atlas serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of objects that exist beyond our solar system. Whether through fragmentation, solar radiation, or thermal lag, this comet is pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew about cometary behaviour. As its journey unfolds, we will continue to follow its path unravelling the mysteries of this fascinating object from the stars.